What is going on guys? It is your man Scythe here and I thought I'd give you guys a video here. Uh, I've already had some best Destiny beta uh, gameplay on some of the videos that I've done but I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it and uh, give you guys a chance to leave in the comments exactly what you guys think so far. Um, mainly because I can't play Destiny today. Today's Tuesday and they're doing maintenance which I think is them getting ready for the Xbox release of the Destiny beta. Um, PlayStation got it first for a couple of days and uh, Xbox will be getting theirs uh, starting Wednesday along with uh, activating PlayStations again so you can keep playing. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I've had a, a blast playing it. It's new, it's different, and that kind of might be the reason why I'm having so much fun with it. Only because you get so bored doing the same old thing. I don't even know where that guy came from. Like, I just appeared out of freaking nowhere. But, uh,. My personal thought so far is that I'm impressed, but I can't tell if I'm impressed because it's something new or if I'm impressed because I genuinely like the game. Um, it's kind of hard to really base uh, an opinion or do a real review off of a beta. Um, only because, you know, they're doing so many different things. There's a lot of bugs. They're working out a lot of stuff, and they're giving uh, everyone a chance to play it to kind of uh, fine-tune um, their multiplayer platform, which I think a lot more uh, first-person shooters should really be doing. Um, I know Battlefield did it with Hardline. They did a beta for a little while. I'm not a huge Battlefield guy, um, not because I think the game sucks by any means, but just because I'm not good at it, and uh, I think there's just some multiplayer games you're just not going to be good at, and it, to me it gets too frustrating. Um, I think after a couple of years of trying, if I was going to be good at it, I'd be good at it, and I'm just not. So I try not to get too worked up about playing it or anything like that. Doesn't mean I won't buy it. Of course I'll buy it and I'll play it, but uh, as far as Destiny goes, uh, let me first off by saying I kind of hate the fact that they call it a beta. Uh, and let me let me tell you why. Let me uh, explain myself. Um, you know, betas used to be like an exclusive thing that you know only a few select people would get. And if you got invited to something like that, it made your day. Uh, it made you feel really special. It made you feel like you were just like a really important person in the gaming community. And not to say that what they're doing now is wrong or that it's stupid or bad or by any means, but it kind of takes the uh, I got something special feeling away. Way, when they give it to everyone who uh, pre-orders the game, plus they send you two extra codes to give to your friends to play on the beta. So to me, it's not really considered a beta for gamers. It's a beta for the gaming company because it gives them a chance to fine-tune the game before it's released. But for gamers, it's more of just like a, I guess a teaser, I guess I'd call it. I really don't want to call it a beta. Uh, only because I just don't feel as special, and I think the word beta in you know gaming for years, beta always meant that it was something really exclusive, and uh, you kind of take the exclusivity away when you give out like a million extra codes to people to play it, and all you gotta do is pre-order the game and put five dollars down on a pre-order. Um, and video game companies make a crap ton of money off pre-orders because of all the $5 deposits people put down that don't even pick up the game. So they've made probably a couple million dollars on virtually selling nothing because people never uh, went to claim and pay the rest of the money for the game. But um, the gameplay is really good in this game. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's different, so it, it's kind of frustrating. Um, it's got that Halo feel to it. Um, getting used to that whole moon jumping, you can be in the air for 400 hours while you're shooting somebody kind of thing. Um, I was so used to ground gameplay that uh, it's it was something kind of difficult for me to deal with when I'm playing the game. Um, only because I just not used to people jumping out of thin air and just falling on me and just beating the crap out of me. And then usually when people jump up in the air, I don't know where, where to look or where to go. And I'm just like, oh my god, what's going on? And people are just like dropping like dead mosquitoes all over you. Um, but I'm getting a little bit more accustomed to it, which is good because there's new Halo coming out. And uh, I, I kind of want to play that. I tried playing the last Halo, and I just wasn't good at it, and um, it wasn't a bad game. I mean, it had good graphics, had good game style, just wasn't good at it. And I just like this game, I'm not really good at it, but I like uh, the fact that they didn't focus so much on really fine detailed graphics and focused more on the gameplay, which I think is a pretty good thing. Um, Call of Duty seems to keep like going the wrong direction. They're always worried about the graphics and the person's pores on their skin and the hair on their face and stuff like that and the gameplay ends up being horrible. Um, Modern Warfare 3 was the best Call of Duty that I, the last Call of Duty that I played that I really enjoyed. I didn't enjoy Black Ops 2. I didn't enjoy Ghost. I, I mean, I freaking hate Call of Duty Ghost. I don't even play it anymore. 
Um, in fact, I'll probably be playing some uh, throwback Call of Duties more. I've been playing uh, a few of them in live streams uh, in the last couple of months, and I'm going to start playing a little bit more um, as time goes by because I really enjoy them. But this this game actually they focus more on you know the gaming experience and uh, graphics aren't meant to be really that fine-tuned in first-person shooters, I don't believe. I believe the more fun you have playing the game, you're not going to care about the graphics. I can prove this. Look how popular Minecraft is. I mean, it's just basic, like, little 8-bit looking game that is a phenomenal platform and a phenomenal multiplayer experience because it, the game it plays really well. And I think that that's what uh, Destiny has done. I think they, I mean, the, the graphics do look really good. They look very good. Um, are they, like, phenomenal 1080p 4K graphics? No, but I don't care. I like playing the game because the gameplay is fun. I think it makes the game more smooth when the, uh, when your system's not so damn, you know, tied up worrying about graphics and trying to convert everything and trying to process everything and just more worried about playing the game and, uh, you know, experiencing more fun in a multiplayer game. Um, I didn't see a whole lot of issues with uh, hit markers. I didn't see a lot of issues with glitching, um, which is pretty good for a beta. I mean, it sounds like, you know, they really, uh, I mean, well, it looks like they really took their time making sure that their servers and their multiplayer platforms platform was somewhat established before even releasing the beta, which is uh, something like that Rockstar didn't do with Grand Theft Auto. At first, the multiplayer was just non-existent, and then when they finally got into it, it was just a pain in the ass to use. Now they got a handle on things now, of course, but uh, it's not something that you want to wait for when you buy a game. You buy a game and you give them all your money, so you expect the entire experience, because you gave them the entire amount of money for the game. That's just my opinion. So I think that Bungie did a really good job with uh, um, making this game uh, very enjoyable just from the beta standpoint. So, I mean, if you could, guys, uh, just give this video a like. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and let me know in the comments whether or not you guys believe it or not. I do read your comments. Um, I may not respond to them as much only because I don't want somebody to feel like I left them out if they left a comment and I don't answer theirs, but I answer somebody else's. But I do read the comments. Or you could uh, tweet me, you know, or uh, hit me up on Facebook, which the links for both of those are in my description. But just let me know what you guys think so far. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments exactly what you guys are looking forward to. Um, of course, they only have one game mode right now, multiplayer in the Crucible right now which is kind of like a domination. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments if you think a team deathmatch would be really fun or, like, a capture the flag or some sort of, like, kill confirmed kind of like thing or, you know, getting tags or, you know, whatever game mode you could possibly think of. But uh, I, I, I'm really enjoying it, and I hope you guys are too. And I'm really excited to play it. And since Call of Duty Ghost sucks, I'll be glad to be playing this come September. <laughs> but I uh, hope you guys are enjoying your week. You know, I'm, I'm having fun with mine and just doing my thing. And I uh, appreciate all of your uh, support. So hope you guys have fun. Talk to you later. Peace.